散进来。
this is the place to begin. 350.org is where it's happening. And I'm really, really proud to be part of it. I think we owe Bill and his team an incredible vote of thanks for getting this moving. You know, I, I don't know how the stakes could get any higher. We know that what we put in the atmosphere now will reside there and alter the chemistry of the atmosphere for a millennium, a thousand years. Uh, it's absolutely essential that we turn this around and we turn it around now. <laughs> Divestment is not easy. Uh, there are members of our board that struggle with it, and I want to tell you it's a courageous and outstanding board. When they looked at our opportunity to profit from fossil fuel investments through our endowment, they came down solidly on the side of the ethical choice. The ethical choice is not to invest in industries that are destroying the future for our children. I'm proud and honored to be part of Unity College um, and the, the board that is so forward-looking. I'd like to point out that they voted unanimously to do this. One of the things you're going to hear if you're a college student from your president or from your board of trustees is that this is too difficult because uh, our money is in mutual funds. Oh, really? Uh, no, it's not too difficult. If you can manage your portfolio to maximize gain, which is the fiduciary responsibility of your board, you simultaneously manage it to minimize your exposure to fossil fuels. The two are not incompatible and the two things can be done simultaneously. And I challenge you to do it. I'd like to offer another challenge, and that's to scientists. I am a scientist by training, and I come to this with a scientist's ethic. And typically, scientists are reticent. We stay in our labs, we work in the field, we produce our data, we write papers, we publish, we train graduate students. Uh, early in 2000, that became an untenable pathway for me because I could see the destruction that was happening, and I knew that we had to take some action. Um, I would encourage you to talk to the scientists in your life and give them permission to be activists. Hmm. They are the ones that know. <laughs> if you're a student, I encourage you to speak to your college or university president. I encourage you to do that forcefully and loudly. We cannot ignore you. You are our client. Think about it this way, colleges have a fraction of the carbon footprint of the United States, but we have 100% of the student footprint. And you're the guys that make a difference. I'm, I'm really proud to be here. I'm so glad to, that the Board of Trustees was willing to do this. If you or your college uh, need encouragement or if I can help in any way, I uh, put myself at your disposal. Let's make this work. Thank you. One of the few unmixed blessings of growing older is that past a certain point, what the hell are they going to do to you? <laughs> that's, why, that's why it was very good to look, if we looked up to the first day in Washington of this two week thing, and there were a lot of people with hairlines sort of like mine you know, uh, uh, coming to the university. We didn't ask people. How old are you? Because that would be rude. But cleverly, we asked them who was president of the board. <laughs> the two biggest cohorts came from the FDR and the Truman administration. <laughs>
I mean, I live in Vermont. Vermont makes Maine look formal, you know. Um, well, I'm not a big necktie guy, but we wanted to make an important sort of visual point, and that point is that there's nothing, nothing, nothing radical about what we've been talking about tonight. Nothing at all. All that we've asked for, all that we've asked for is a planet that works like the one you were born into, a planet that works like the one that everybody for the last 10,000 years, the Holocene, was born into. That's all we've asked for. And if you think about it, that's a pretty conservative request. <laughs> Radicals work at oil companies. If you are willing to get up and make $100,000 a day by altering the chemical composition of the atmosphere, then you're engaged in an act more radical than any human before you has yet engaged in. And it is, it is our job, it is our job to try and check that radicalism before it overwhelms every good thing on this good earth. That's our job. I'm not 100% certain that we can. The science is pretty ominous at this point. Every climate scientist I know was scared this summer when the Arctic melted the way it did. We've only got a few big physical features on the planet. It's not good when they start disappearing. And the power on the other side is very real. These guys have all the money they could ever need. So I don't know that we're going to win. But I'm absolutely certain that we're going to fight because I've been all over the world and every place. There are, especially in places where people haven't caused this problem, there are people ready, eager. There are meetings like this going on in countries all over the world tonight. Um, 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 um. So I don't know if we're going to win, but I know it's, it's always an honor to be in those rooms. And it is an unbelievable honor to be in this room. I know is going to be the place it already is and will continue to be the place where this divestment movement takes root the quickest because the colleges and institutions of this state are more devoted to the environment than just about any place in the world. I, Thank you guys.